hello welcome back to my channel i'm olovo kolajayi and in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to make the perfect bombodoni donuts showing you my feels and mistakes so you don't have to make them if you've not subscribed to the channel please kindly do that right now click the thumbs up button drop a comment and don't forget to share this video with others so in this tutorial we're going to be using the basic ingredients flour sugar margarine room temperature water please and not warm water dry active yeast and egg so that is what we're going to be using in this tutorial it's a pretty simple tutorial and uh, if you watch till, till the very end you will understand what it is you need to know and what it is you need to do and what you shouldn't do <laughs> that's quite complicated i know but it's super easy trust me on this one so first thing first you add all your ingredients into a bowl. Everything goes in at the same time. No gimmicks, nothing to hide, nothing to not do. Just pour in everything. You're going to get it right. Trust me. It's super pretty easy donuts recipe. And someone asked when I posted the, the preview on Instagram if they can actually use this recipe for ring donuts. Yes, why not? Go ahead and use this recipe for ring donuts if you don't want to go through the stress of you know creating those perfect shapes for bombolones so why i'm using the spatula right now is because i'm wearing gloves so if you're not wearing gloves just dive right into it with your with your perms and you know just mold this together but i'm using the spatula because i don't want to get uh, the gloves too you know too mushy and wet so i'm just trying to combine everything together before i go right in and the exercise is yes so in we go you know you want to get that together you want it to mix combine properly then the beauty of working with flour when making donuts or bread is the gluten we are always so very afraid of when we're making cakes is not here yeah we want the power of the gluten in the flour to be fully 100 percent activated so it's going to be a lot of kneading a whole lot of kneading because we want the flour you know to be stretchy we want the dough to be smooth and soft we don't want it wet we want it soft so how do we achieve that we achieve that by proper kneading so clean your work surface like i just did you know put the the dough on your work surface and start to knead guys this is where you need to get it right one of the things you need to do right is the kneading if you don't need it properly you won't achieve what it is you want to achieve with this recipe or any other donut recipe ever if you lay your hands on any donut recipe or a bread recipe you want to knead the dough for as long as you can knead so you ask me like how many minutes do you think is fair to need you know it this dough i will give you between 15 to 20 minutes depending on how well you know how to knead so you want to need that can you see in the beginning here yeah, it's kind of like you know cutting and just doing all of that it gets to a stage when you need it properly everything just stays together nothing detaches and that is where we want to get to so i'm exercise you say yes <laughs> i'm exercise still need it yes need keep needing if you're the type who you, you, is very impatient you don't want to make donuts you don't want to make donuts so what i would advise you do is get a timer so just you know set your timer on 15 minutes or 20 minutes so that you know when you should leave this dough because you want to need this dough this dough this very one needs to be needed properly if you don't do that you won't get the result you want to achieve. It's not going to come out nice. That's the truth. It won't come out nice. Okay. 
so now we want to do like a film test we want to see if we can stretch the dough you know for as much as we can stretch it and it's not going to tear so when you do this test and you stretch and stretch where you can actually see yourself it becomes a little bit transparent if it tears it means you still need to knead so mine is not tearing right now but i think i still need to knead for a few minutes so i will go right at, back at it and knead this is what you want to do guys if you can't do this with your dough that means your dough is not ready your dough needs to be ready before you begin to form the shapes so i want to knead for a few more minutes before i begin to cut out the donut balls So next thing you want to do is you want to get a baking tray and you know you dust a little bit of flour over the surface of the tray for some persons at this stage what they use is uh, baking paper they cut it into tiny bits into small bits and dust with a little bit of flour so we're going to be cutting out the dough if you know you're selling or even if you're not selling and you just want to get equal sizes I advise you use a scale to measure out your dough Use a scale to measure out your dough so, so that every donut it is you make, you know, have the same shape and the same size. For this recipe, I got three 100 grams and one 83 grams. That was what I got from this recipe. Three 100 grams and one 83 grams. So I advise you do your, you do your maths and uh, that is going to be 383 grams and just simply divide that by four if you want to get for equal sh equal size of donuts so the next thing is you need to start talking these and you know forming it into a ball i'm going to be showing you imperfect donuts in this video so you know where the mistakes are if you don't talk the donuts properly if you don't form a good ball and pinch the bottom can you see if you don't do all of those pinching properly i will definitely show you what it will look like when you don't pinch the bottom of the of the donut ball properly also if you want your donut slightly lighter than mine i advise you include one or two tablespoons of water if you want your donut slightly lighter than mine i advise you add one or two tablespoons of water but please do not exceed two tablespoons because you don't want the dough to be so soft your donuts will eventually soak up oil you don't want nobody wants to eat greasy donuts no one loves greasy donuts so if you don't want your donut to be greasy please please i'm pleading with you do not exceed one or two tablespoons of additional water to this recipe if you want your donut to be lighter and more fluffier than mine you want to pinch the bottom that's the back you want to pinch it until it closes properly if you don't do that you won't get a beautiful shape of bomboloni donuts that you would have loved to achieve so donut making is simply all about patience you're not rushing anywhere you're not in a hurry you don't want to rush rush when while, while you're making bomboloni donuts if you know you don't have the patience for it I advise you just grab a ring cutter and start cutting this dough into the ring shape. So at this point, apply a little bit of margarine on your work surface. Then roll the donut balls around in it. So you just want to coat the, the donuts with a little bit of margarine or butter, whichever it is you're using. So you want to do a lot of that. And then tap it on the table counter to help remove trap air we want to remove any trap air in the dough so just tap it like once twice tries and that's about it so just repeat the same process for all your balls can you see this is properly covered you'll see the one i didn't cover properly when i'm done baking so press it down a little just a little bit of pressure to help remove any air bubbles and cover this for 20 minutes with a table cover cloth or a plastic bag so after 20 minutes, this is it. It has increased and doubled or tripled in size. It's time to fry. So this is the tricky part. You want your oil to be lukewarm. In fact, you can do a finger test. You know, just dip the tip of your finger into the oil to ensure that it is not hot. You want the oil to just simmer a little bit. You know, to just bubble up the way you're seeing it. 
you do not want your oil out all through the frying process so you can get better colors point number two do not use a frying pan like i did you do not want to use a frying pan and you're going to see the reason why i am asking you not to use a frying pan because a frying pan is just too shallow it is not deep enough you want a pot that is deep like a wok i think that is what it's called you want a wok a pot that is deep so that the donuts can have room to float right now my donuts are not floating because i am using a frying pan something i'm using a pan with a flat surface that is shallow so now you're going to see the reason why i'm asking you not to use a frying pan two things will happen can you see can you see that dark spot is because i use a frying pan this is this would have been a perfect donut if not for the frying pan then the other one can you see i did not pinch that properly when i was forming the dough so while you're forming the dough you want to pinch the dough completely and ensure it is completely closed but this is what your donut should look like aside the deep brown thing you're seeing can you see this was tucked properly so even when i flipped it over it still looks amazing it looks perfect this is the type of donut you want but like i said do not use a frying pan to fry your bumbuloni donuts you want something deep and not a flat shallow surface so yeah this is what our donuts look like a size that overly brown spot on it it is equally still beautiful you know and i, I made those mixtape on purpose so you can you understand what not to do let's fill our donuts i choose to use store-bought strawberry jam you know when you bring it out of the, the jar quickly use your spoon you know to beat it so it comes alive then you fill a plastic bag pick a donut insert a spatula or a knife to create you know a hole and then you insert the piping bag and you just fill your donut with whatever type of flavor it is you want i choose to go the strawberry way you can choose to use lemon cord you can choose to use chocolate ganache you can choose to use apple apple jam whatever it is that picks your fancy go right ahead and fill your donuts with that yay the big reveal thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video with others thank you